Hey guys, I just want to quickly come on here and show you my pineapple routine for nighttime preservation of curls. It's something that's really simple, but I had to figure out a different way to do it in order to work with my hair type, which is why I put my hair type in the title. I know a lot of people don't like the hair typing system, but I personally do find it helpful when I'm looking for somebody with my hair type, which is why it is in the title. If you guys want to know, my hair is 4A with 4B um, in the crown, although that's kind of changed a little bit. It's kind of mostly all 4A now. But yeah, that's my hair type. This is obviously not my natural hair texture because it's been stretched. So this is not a good indication of my hair type, but let's move on. So if you don't know what a pineapple is, it's basically when you are putting your hair on top of your head to go to sleep. The most common way of doing that is taking a hair scrunchie or hair tie and putting all your hair up into a high ponytail like on the top of your head and then putting a scarf around it and going to sleep. Now that technique does not work for me at all. It just stretches my hair entirely too much in the back, giving it like a weird shape. It's very flat. And then also it tends to the scrunchie being like way up here on my head all night just kind of leaves a dent and kind of makes my hair fall very strangely. So it took me a while to figure out the best technique to pineapple my hair with my hair type. Because you know, everyone has a different hair type so everyone's gonna have to tweak different methods to work perfectly for them. So this is how it works well for me. And I told you guys that I was going to share that so I am going to do that today really quickly. I have a bobby pin or two. You guys know my little trick with the bobby pins keep my hair framing my face, you know. So I gotta take those out. I don't do this with twist outs. With twist outs, I just put it in like a low bun and wrap it. So this is mainly to preserve washing those. So all you'll need is a large scarf to do this. It's a large silk scarf in the shape of a square. The larger, the better. Just kind of keep that as a rule of thumb. And all you're going to do for this is tilt your head over so that the hair is going forward like a normal pineapple. Now here's the difference is that I'm not taking my hair and stretching it like this. I don't wanna stretch it because that gets rid of all your curl. It makes your hair really flat in the back. I've already stretched my hair, I've already banded it. I don't wanna lose any more curl pattern, make it look weird. Don't want a helmet head and I want it to stay up like that. So just have it go forward. And while it's going forward, you're just gonna let it lay naturally. So you see how these curls here, they're not stretched all the way on top. I don't need them to stretch all the way on top like that. Take your head scarf. I'm gonna fold down a corner just to give a flat surface. Getting this in the shot is not easy. <laughs> ah! So all of my curls are going forward. I'm not forcing them forward. I'm not stretching them forward. Wherever they land naturally is where they land and that is fine, okay? And that's the key to getting really good results with a type four pineapple if you have issues like I do. So I'm just gonna put the headscarf on with the curls as they are. And now I'm just kind of gently gliding the hair up. So just glide the hair up, and now we have a pretty nice surface to sleep on here. The hair is not stretched too much, but it's nice and flat. So now we have three ends of the headscarf, right? We have that piece in the middle hanging down, and then we have these two ends here. Just take the two ends and tie them in front. So now all of your curls are pretty much in this area right here, and kind of up like that. So a very organic pineapple going on here. You don't want to tie it too tight in the front. You can just do a nice loose little knot right there, okay? After you tie it in the front, you're gonna take these two ends and you're going to bring them around back. Like that. So just tie it in the back like that. Now all I do with this hair in the front is I just take this little end and tuck. And that's it. And I go to sleep like that. That's my pineapple. <laughs> Of course I have this stupid little one hanging down here, whatever. So the reason that this works is because I don't have anything tight here that's like clamping my curls, stretching it up here and ruining my curl pattern. And also it's not having it sit on the very top of my head all night, which would just make my hair stand up completely straight. So if you guys recall, when I shape my hair, I put my hair on top of my head, but I only leave it like that for like an hour or so. Cause that's all it takes to kind of set my hair. And I don't want to ruin my hair. Because if I leave my hair in a high puff all night, it's gonna ruin my hair. And that's essentially what a normal pineapple is, is like a high puff with a scrunchie. My hair doesn't recover well from that. So this is a better option for me where there's nothing tight on my hair right here. And it's just kind of naturally able to organically come forward. And then I can sleep like this, I can sleep like this. It's very comfortable. And I don't have to worry about my curls getting squished. So it's obviously 
not nighttime right now because the freaking sun is glaring through the window. So this is what I'm going to do tonight. I just want to show you in the natural light. I'm going to do this tonight and then I will come back to take my hair down to show you guys what it looks like and then also um, like how I reshape it or whatever. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, it's the next morning. I'm going to take down my pineapple that I slept with last night. And this is what it looks like in the morning. As you can see, there's no lines because there's no, we didn't use a scrunchie. It falls, it's starting to fall already. But that's obviously because of the weight of my hair. That'll just depend on how long your hair is. But as you can see, there's no lines or marks in my hair, which is really awesome. All of my curls are still intact, even though they're a little matty. And then if you look at the back, if I like kind of peel this down like an onion, <laughs> You can see that the hair is not like super stretched. It's not straight. The curl is still there. Yay! Okay, so all you need to do at this point is just shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. And you can put some oil on your hands if you want. I didn't and I'm too lazy to go grab it, so it's fine. And now we're just gonna shape it. Look at that! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Dude, I love this. I cannot. This is the only way that a pineapple works for me. And I did it one night because I was super lazy and I didn't think it was gonna do anything and it did and I was shocked. And I actually think it gets better throughout the week as it gets more matted because I like this volume to come up and this to come out. And I don't mind that I lose a little bit of length. Who needs length? We want attitude, yeah. I don't know how the back looks so I didn't look at it but that's the back. And you don't get any weird stretchy hair. It's not straight. There's no scrunchy marks. And with a little bit of maneuvering, the hair falls down really nicely. So that's it, that's how I pineapple my hair. I hope that this video helped you guys. I hope you gave it a try. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. I don't know why I did that, okay.